The final week of the regular season for high school football senior night at fields across southeast Michigan and the Chippewa Valley, 38 families celebrating their seniors. The Big Reds had a lot to celebrate in our Leo's Coney Island game of the week. Anchor Bay's offense had a tough time moving the ball. When they did, Brian Shewick forces the fumble. David Ellis recovers it. Chippewa Valley having no trouble stopping them and having no trouble moving the ball. Delano Woods pounds it, slashes, cuts, and runs. The senior celebrating his big night. Aiden Hall, the quarterback, had himself a night. Jacob Rabicki, Chippewa Valley cruising to an 8-1 regular season record. They are talking state championship dreams in Clinton Township, and they should. 45-6 winners tonight. It's always nice, you know, when you get uh, a television crew to come out to your game. It's not a normal thing for a high school game. So, uh, yeah, it's nice that our, uh, our, our fans and our uh, kids were able to take part in this. And for, to have 38 seniors, for them all to get to play and all 72 of our players, um, that's a nice thing. Coming right at the camera there. Unique, cool environment at one field tonight, something you don't see every day. Casey Holland joins us now. Yeah, North Farmington visiting Garden City, and this one was pretty special because both kickers for these teams are female. Unfortunately, it's not too often we get to see two young women out on the football field, but tonight we did. Ian Castingue gets the call here, and he is gone for the 25-yard score. Let's put Garden City on the board. Out comes Alex Sherlock with Cougars kicker for the extra point. You go, girl. Later, David McDaniel sees daylight and the Raiders cannot catch him. About a 60-yard score there, Garden City up 14 zip. Then Cameron Walter airs it out to Castingway again, and he does the rest of the work. Cougars up 21-0 before the half. They go on to win it 19-9. And Livonia Churchill hosting Canton. Chargers up 21-20, and their defense comes up with a huge fourth down stop at the goal line. But they couldn't stop the Chiefs here. Colin Troop punches it in for the touchdown, and Canton takes the lead. Then Luke Jupe gets the call. He finds the hole, and he is out of there all the way to the house. Chiefs go on to win it 35-21. Lots of excitement. These two teams, those two teams, the first two teams not in playoff contention, but still you could tell it was an emotional night for them too. A lot of fun. We're going to be back doing this again in the playoffs. Casey, thanks so much. The Tigers today introducing their new manager. Hear why Rod Gardenhire decided to come to a rebuilding situation when everybody knows losing is coming.